Okay, how to use the vacuum pump. A couple of do's and don'ts with these silly things. Uh, certainly make sure your well level is uh, lower third to upper third. Do not overfill these things. If you get them overfilled, they will blow oil everywhere. Uh, you can drain excess oil you put in them from the bottom. Okay, and as I've said before, uh, you should be changing the oil in these things every time you uh, do a new system, do another system. They used to say uh, a large evacuation change the oil. Uh, it's probably best just to change the oil each time. I know it doesn't get done all the time, but whatever. Okay, these lines here, these caps should always be on. I'm not real thrilled these plastic caps on this one. Uh, I'm going to pull a vacuum and see if they hold, but uh, the, whichever one you're not using has to be sealed tight. If it's not sealed tight, you're going to end up with not pulling a deep vacuum and wondering why. Okay, they should also not be fired up with one of these caps off and not, you know, not hooked up to a uh, system. Okay, these pumps are made, not made to run in free air. When you've got this open, you should not be starting it up. Of course, I'm going to do that just because I like to destroy things. Now, this is the outlet here, you can see it started blowing some oil out of there. Uh, just pull down a vacuum now, but then it blows it out. Okay, they are not made to be run that way. One thing, they draw too much power, and the, if you keep doing that, the uh, vacuum pump will eventually just not pull it, a good deep vacuum. So, uh, don't run them without something hooked on there and don't leave these caps off. Okay, another thing you never want to do with these things is hook your uh, vacuum line onto the pump with a positive pressure in the system. If you're uh, above zero PSIG and you start that thing up with, uh, with that positive pressure in there, it will blow oil everywhere. And I'm not going to do that one because that one's really messy. Uh, do not use them as a recovery pump or something like that because they're not made to work above zero PSIG. A vacuum pump is made to remove air and non-condensables. Non-condensable, exact, uh, an example of a non-condensable would be water. It will not remove water. It'll only remove water vapor. It can't remove anything that's not a gas. It doesn't remove liquids. Uh, it doesn't remove chunks of windings that are laying in there. It doesn't do any of that stuff. It only removes gases. So, if you're expecting the vacuum pump to clean the system, it is not going to clean the system. Okay, once you get your shiny new vacuum pump, you should test your gauge set. And we'll go into that one next.